Shohei Otani's recent gambling controversy with his English translator Ipe Mitsuhara could be catastrophic for Major League Baseball and even more devastating than Major League Baseball even thinks or are leading fans to believe. So just in the past couple of days, there has been major news surrounding Dodgers Shohei Otani and his translator Ipe Mitsuhara about gambling issues. Just an hour ago, CBS uh, CBS Sports, Shohei Otani interpreter gambling scandal explained lawyers allege massive theft. Translator changes story. Now, Ryan Kennel posted a video here on Sports Wars yesterday breaking down the timeline of events. It's a great video. If you haven't watched it yet, before watching this video, I urge that you go and watch the, watch Ryan's video and then come back to this one because he breaks it down the timeline perfectly. Uh, so Shohei Otani currently is not currently facing any discipline or believed to be under investigation by Major League Baseball for the Ipe Mitsuhara gambling situation. Now there is... Uh, a awesome thread here on Twitter of somebody breaking down what could potentially be Shohei Otani throwing games for the Anaheim Angels. Let's take a look. This is yesterday, a clip from yesterday. Shohei Otani and Ipe Mitsuhara interacting just before the final out of this morning's game against the San Diego Padres. Now go ahead and take a look at this interaction between Shohei. Uh, the Dodgers beat the Padres 5-2. to two, And look at Shohei and his translator Mitsuhara. Look at their interaction right here towards the end of the game. No volume. We don't want to get copyrighted here. Look at that smug, shit-eating grin from the translator right there. So, the timeline of events, uh, like Ryan broke down in his video just, uh, just yesterday, has changed, right? The translator came out with statements that, you know, Shohei was helping him pay off. And, and even Otani uh, said and confirmed these statements as well that Otani was paying off his interpreter's gambling debts. And then the Otani camp backtracked and said, uh, no, you, you know what? This is actually theft. And his interpreter stole $4.5 million uh, to gamble on baseball games. So here's where it gets interesting. Here is a timeline of events that could potentially be games where Shohei had thrown games in favor of uh, either his bets or his interpreter's bets. Uh, that is yet to be uh, determined. Let's go ahead through this thread and read this. So Tani throwing games a thread. Uh, it's a uh, it's a five part thread. July 2020, uh, July 22nd, 2022. A bet of one million dollars was placed for the Atlanta Braves to score over six and a half runs against the Los Angeles Angels. Parlayed with the Braves uh, favored by three and a half. The bet was placed with a bookie in Mit uh, uh, Mitsuhara's. Shohei's hometown, the pitcher, um, oh, in, in, in Mitsusawa, sorry, uh, Shohei's hometown, the pitcher for the Angels. That day, Shohei Otani, the stats for Shohei that day were as followed. Uh, six, uh, six point one innings pitched, six hits, six earned runs, and one walked, uh, walked batter. At the plate, you ask? 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. Was he throwing games? I'll let you decide that. July 4th, 2023, um... A bet was placed in the same hometown with the same bookie for $4.2 million on the over of the Padres' run total. Guess who was pitching? You guessed it. Show fraud. <laughs> Show fraud. Uh, five innings pitched, five earned runs while going 0 for 3 at the plate. Not even 10 days later. $10 million bet was placed. Same bookie, same town. A parlay with 2,500 odds. Astros, uh, Astros favored by 1.5. Astros to score uh, six and a half runs. Shohei, uh, five point runs allowed. Uh, sorry, 4.5 runs allowed. Uh, six, uh, six and a half strikeouts. Game total was over uh, 11 and a half. Shohei's line for that day, six innings pitched, nine hits, five earned runs while allowing two home runs. Shohei went two for five at the plate. The extra motivation to make over the cash really helped. Uh, he had the true... In, um, he had a true addiction and a problem. He needs real help. Hopefully the true story gets out and the poor interpreter can be set free from this madness. So it does seem on the surface that maybe Shohei Otani's interpreter is, you know, biting the bullet 
for Shohei so Shohei doesn't get completely banned from Major League Baseball. And that is what I meant at the very beginning of this video, how catastrophic this could be for Major League Baseball. Because Rob Manfred and Major League Baseball need to come to a decision on one of two things. They either need to ban Shohei Otani. And this is this is not because I'm a bitter Angels fan that Shohei Otani left the Angels. I am an Angels fan. They are my home uh, home team and not a proud Angels fan over the past several years. Artie Marino has completely failed the Angels and uh I don't think that that is something that can be argued against. Pete Rose, in 1989, after six months of denial, defense, and delay, Cincinnati manager Pete Rose was banned for life from baseball by Commissioner Giamatti for gambling. Rose, baseball's all-time hit leader and holder of 19 major, major league records, signed a five-page agreement with Giamatti, which he agreed to a lifetime penalty, but did not admit to gambling on baseball. Pete Rose is still banned by Major League Baseball, is not in the Hall of Fame, but Shohei Otani is currently not facing any discipline or believed to be under investigation by the league. So one of two things needs to happen. You either need to unban and clear Pete Rose's name from Major League Baseball, induct Pete Rose into the Hall of Fame, if you're going to allow Shohei Otani to continue to play in Major League Baseball. Shohei Otani is crucial for the success of, of Major League Baseball. Shohei Otani is great for baseball. I don't want to see the young man be banned for life. But Major League Baseball has a huge predicament on their hands. They need to set the record straight. Obviously, there needs to be more investigation into this gambling issue with Shohei Otani and his translator, Ipe, Mitsu, uh, uh, Ipe Mitsuhara. Whether this was actual theft of $3.5, uh, $4.5 million. But the thing is, is that Shohei Otani's name is attached to the wire transfers. So if you want to get into this article, a uh, brand new article written an hour ago today, Shohei Otani's lawyers say that the Dodger superstar has allegedly been the victim of a massive theft, accusing his now former interpreter, Ipe Mitsuhara, of taking funds from Otani to use for illegal gambling. ESPN reports that the latest $4.5 million in wire transfers were sent from Otani's bank account to a California booker, uh, uh, a bookie who is under federal investigation. Mitsuhara is Otani's longtime interpreter and friend was fired by the Dodgers on Wednesday. Again, Ryan reported on this yesterday. Uh, Mitsuhara spoke with ESPN earlier this week, originally claiming on Tuesday that Otani was paying off his gambling debts. He changed the story a day later, however, to say Otani was unaware of the payments. Mutsuhara, who has been working with Otani for more than six years, and this is another thing. Last summer, I believe it was, uh, maybe it was last spring, spring of 2023, there was a, a report by the Angels that how close Shohei Otani and Ipe Mitsuhara were as friends, that they spent, they spent time together 24-7. They were best friends, roommates. Like, essentially, brothers. They were always with each other. So to say that Shohei Otani had no idea and that $4.5 million was stolen from him without him knowing, in my opinion, is ignorant. Mitsuhara claimed to ESPN that he never bet on baseball. Uh, Diane Bass, a lawyer for the alleged bookie, backed that claim to the associ uh, Associated Press. Sports betting is not legalized in California, though any legal gambling on any sport violates MLB rules. Mitsuhara's problems mounted on Thursday as ESPN reported that Otani's representatives has asked law enforcement to investigate the alleged theft. Additionally, the AP has reported that the Internal Revenue Service says that Mitsuhara and the alleged bookmaker are now being investigated by the agency. This is a story that is not going away anytime soon. Shohei Otani could be in big trouble. And this is why I believe that Major League Baseball, this is a catastrophic problem for Major League Baseball because they need Shohei Otani. Shohei Otani is great for baseball. But this is a young kid who made a mistake, in my opinion, who maybe could be completely innocent. But in my opinion, I do not believe that he just ignorantly 
let and allowed his best friend, who he spent time with 24-7, to steal $4.5 million, maybe more, to bet on baseball. Shohei Otani could be in a heaping amount of trouble, but time will tell. We will see. Um, this story is going to continue to unravel um, over the next several weeks and potentially uh, the next several months. But what do you guys think about this entire gambling mess for Shohei Otani and his interpreter, Mitsuhara? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Share with a friend who you think would enjoy it. Subscribe to this channel if you're new. We'll talk to you again soon.